Hello, happy Halloween, and welcome to the October 31st, 2013 episode of Film Geek Maniac. I'm your host, Chad Miller. You can't handle the truth. kick things off with the new releases to my collection. I have the original Brian De Palma version of Carrie. Goodwill Hunting actually replaces my DVD copy. X-Men First Class, which is a replacement of the Blu-ray that I lost. Sucker Punch. This is the first time I've owned this movie. It's a bit of a guilty pleasure ever since I saw it in theaters. And Tim Burton's Dark Shadows. This is a DVD copy that was actually given to me. I haven't seen it in its entirety as of yet, but I'm a big fan of Tim Burton, so you can't go wrong. Thank you so much for being patient with us while we are on our hiatus. On our Facebook page not too long ago, we asked you a question, what uh, genre you would like to see for the latest top five selection of my collection? And there were a pretty much an even amount of responses, so I went ahead and picked a category which I'm choosing the top five superhero films of my movie collection. Number five is Iron Man, the original Iron Man movie starring Robert Downey Jr. I thought this was fantastic casting, the writing was excellent, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Number this four film. is X2 X-Men United. This was my number one superhero film for a very, very long time, and uh, it's relegated to number four at this point just because of the mass hysteria of uh, superhero films in the, in the last good number of years. So uh, this still resonates to my heart every time I watch it and still makes me cry. Number three is X-Men First Class. With the sequel coming up, uh, X-Men Days of Future Past, I figured this was going to kind of climb the ranks a little bit more. However, considering the next two uh, movies coming up, you'll understand why. But this, I thought, was a great film and one of the best in the X-Men canon, so I'm very interested for Days of Future Past because of this movie, and I think this is brilliantly directed, acted, and cast, and I hope the uh, trend continues with Days of Future Past. The top two and the top one movie slots was a very tough pick for me, so number two is The Dark Knight. This was fantastic on so many levels, and I didn't want to be biased because of Heath Ledger's passing. However, his Joker is now the ultimate version of the Joker for me as far as in film. So uh, it's an amazing movie regardless, and it is number two. The number one comic book superhero movie in my collection is Marvel's The Avengers. Fantastic film, brilliantly directed, wonderfully written, remarkably cast, and a great ensemble feature, and all sorts of superhero goodiness in this so this is my current favorite superhero movie of my collection. We here at Film Geek Maniac want to thank all the fans that we have on Facebook and on YouTube. There isn't many, but we've got a small little following and it's growing, but we do appreciate all the likes, the comments, and the suggestions that you all make and participate in both pages. So please keep it up. Share us with your friends. We think it's a pretty cool page thus far and we hope to keep improving it.